Hi, this is Ash or Bash from the Flying Seagull Project. So I want to offer you a couple of ideas that we have for solving some of those conflicts in the family. So again, we spend a lot of time on the road, as some of you know. We live in, uh, in each other's pockets. We, we eat lunch together, breakfast together, dinner together. We stay in the same house all the time. And we, you know, we work together. So the Seagull team is literally like a big family. And when we're on the road, like any family, <laughs> we can get a little bit narky. So we have a few clown crisis resolution systems, or clown conflict resolution, whichever one you think it is. Number one, and this is a good one, this is probably my favorite one, is called the Red Nose Argue Challenge. So, you know there's that moment, and it's the moment where you all know, you all know you're spoiling for an argument. You've come in or you've woken up and you're just in a bad mood. You know what, you're homeschooling and the kids are just on at you all day. And everything that you ask them to do, they just said, why? And I've already done it. And actually, I don't have to do that because my teacher this. And kids, you know, your dad or your mum or whoever's looking after you is trying to do the homeschooling keeps going, well, I don't care what your teacher does. We're doing it like this now because you're at home. And you're going, yeah, but I'm trying to tell you that, that I don't normally have to do it that way and they just think they know but anyway those sorts of scenarios where you're just feeling all tense and all like you're ready for an argument and it's gonna take tiniest thing there's the last cookie gets eaten it wasn't the dinner that you were hoping for the pizza you had just didn't have enough cheese and even though it's called triple cheese and it goes and you're all of a sudden poof it comes out the row the argument everybody's tension everybody's foul mood well there's a way around it you have to get a pot of red face paint. Now, if you don't have that in the house already, you can use lipstick. The redder, the better. And the second you start the argument, anyone in the family, be it one of the little ones or one of the big ones, gets to shout, pause, red nose, and that's it. There's no arguments. There is absolutely no way you can get out of it. You then have to get the red nose paint, whether it's a face paint or lipstick, um, and you have to paint each other's noses so not your own you have to ideally the person that you're most angry with you have to paint their nose now this is not an opportunity to graffiti their face and write you know moron on their forehead although you might be tempted this is just to get it as neat and as clean and as round and as red on their nose everybody paints everybody else on the nose put the lipstick away and then try to keep arguing it's very difficult to take anybody seriously when you're yelling at each other but you've got a bright red lipstick nose and the fact that you've done it to each other you've already kind of broken the whole rise and the whole thing but it only works if everybody agrees which means mum dad grandma auntie whoever it is that, that's that's taking care of you they have to do it too but it also means that when you're having a, a temper tantrum that they can call it and you have to let them you can't say no i'm not i don't care what i said trust me it's a really quick way to dismantle and take apart some of those arguments before they happen just a little red nose rather than a big red face nice one hope it helps let me know lots of love